Garrett, obviously everything started for you here in Pittsburgh. What type of nostalgia comes back when you step foot in this ballpark? Um, it's hard, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's definitely there. It's, it's just a, I just get a little bit of a burst of energy, I think. Why is that? Um, because there are a lot of firsts, uh, because there are a lot of big moments and a lot of failures. And yeah, I don't know. What are some of the lessons you learned while you were here? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I learned how to become a, a professional here and I learned how to manage, you know, manage games without my best stuff. Um, I learned how to be a good teammate and a lot of those things this organization and my teammates helped me out with, so I'm thankful for. 2015, you were an all-star, fourth in the NL Cy Young. How different a pitcher are you now than you were when you were with the Pirates? Um, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm mostly throwing four seams now as opposed to two seams. So, and hopefully every, everything else should be pretty, pretty much a little bit better or a little bit more refined. Um, but the same guy at the core, um, you know, trying to do the same things I did in that year, this year, just in a different league with different stuff and a older rig. You had mentioned the other day after you had made a start that you almost felt like you were in a Pirates uniform at times. You got in a little bit of the first inning trouble, but like how weird is that being on the mound just like in a different uniform, not being, you know, where you were a handful of years ago? Yeah, it's just I wanted to make a right hand turn off the mound instead of a left hand turn and um, just had like, I don't know, it just it was, I think it was a little weird because it had been so long. I, I wish I would have came back a little a little sooner. It, it might not have been so so nostalgic or, or, or so like so foreign. Um, but I believe it is the last stadium that I have needed to pitch in as a visitor. And so it's like, <laughs> it's just uh, what a what a wild experience. It was really humbling too. I mean, just you know, not a not a great first inning, but um, there's been a lot of games over my career where. I haven't been very good and I've we've had to figure out how to keep us in the game and, and that was one of them. Oftentimes as a pitcher you're you're you feel good about those type of outings. I was gonna say, is there something rewarding about an outing like that where maybe you don't have your best stuff early on but you you grind through it, you get through it. Yeah, I think there is. I think like you know, the frustration of not executing early, you gotta make sure that you just don't let that get in your way of the next pitch. And it's not easy. Um, you know, but if you can kind of master that mentality, then, you know, understanding that you're not very good that day, you are afforded the opportunity to get creative and try to do things that you otherwise normally wouldn't. Um, and just stay vigilant to what the, the other team is doing well against you. And, you know, if you're not doing something very well, it, the situation may pre present itself to do something out of the ordinary. And getting creative is always fun, so. You've set the standard so high throughout your career, but really this year the standard is so high. So in outings like that, you, you look at it and it's like, it looked like it had been a grind, but you look at the, the line and it's like two runs, five minutes. Like, yeah. do, is it wild to you that, you know, for somebody else that would escalate in such a big way? For you, it's like solid outing. I mean, it's escalated for me before. Yeah. And maybe that's why um, I was able to pull from those experiences. I, I felt like, the first inning gave me some fits, and, and I mean, it, it really, it's, it's a hard inning to get through as a starting pitcher. You, re you really don't know what you're going to have, and the opposition gets to, you know, put the three batters that they think have the best chance to, to do some damage right out of the gate at you. So there's always a bit of uncertainty going into that inning, and I, I've certainly had my fair share of struggles in the first inning, especially in this park, especially earlier in my career, and you're never really immune to that, even as you, as you grow old. But you find ways to kind of work around it and i think like the other day you know we just we just kind of stuck with it and just kept trying to make pitches and, and not get too frustrated even though things weren't going well and um i ended up finding a pretty good pretty good groove there towards the end of the third fourth fifth and um you know i put myself in a position to go back out for the sixth and and um so you know as long as i'm doing that um you know 
we went a different direction, but you know, I was I was prepared to go do that. So that that feels really rewarding when you can scramble the pieces back together after you've dropped the pot on the on the floor. So two starts left, likely in the regular season. Do you feel pressure right now, knowing where you are in oh, the in the Cy? I know you're going to hate me for this, but in the Cy Young race, I've been in a pressure cooker for a long time. Um, you know we. We, you know, it's just we're not really afforded the opportunity to to dwell on those type of things. I've already started looking at Toronto, so um, that's I guess how I deal with it. I'm just getting ready for for next Thursday, or you know, right out of the right out of the shoot. So people people have to be saying stuff to you though, right? Like like myself, other people. Yeah, I mean, I, it's a good position to be in. I mean, and I'm thankful for the well wishes and the compliments, but you know, it's just. When I talk about it, it's like just a little bit of a tangent, and and then we get we get back on the straight and uh, I get ready for Toronto. So, what would it mean to you? <laughs> it would be, it would be, yeah, it would be the most special word of my career. It would be, I mean, I'd be honored to represent this team and 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 you know push it over the line for the guys that have contributed. Every single person on this team has helped me out. Um, and especially the catchers. I mean, I've had like a fleet of catchers <laughs> this year, and like for Ben to come up and just be so, so good, like so good, right out of the gate, and it's you know been really fortunate to work with him and have a lot of fun growing with him and 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 working through really really good games and really really bad games. He just. He just seems to find out how to get the best out of us and make the best out of the situation. It's a really special quality as a as a rookie who doesn't have a lot of time and jumping into a, a uh, high pressure situation as you alluded to. So, you know, I just got to push it. I just got to keep trying to push to stay focused and try to get it over the line for everybody else that's contributed. We'll go on a lighter note now. Okay. Can't help but notice your adorable oldest son on days that you start really takes it to heart. You have to you have to love watching him post start the way he gets ready. Yeah, he I mean, he'll, you know, full uni. He's not messing around, cleats. Um, but I mean, he's like that at the house though too. If he doesn't get to go to a game and he gets to watch the first three innings, I mean, he's taking at bats with the guys on the TV and sprinting around the dining room and standing on second base. If somebody hits a double, he's on second base. So uh, really blessed that he just, I mean, he loves baseball. Um, it makes it easy for us, right? They didn't have to push him and he just picked it up. So um, it's a lot of fun and it, it brings me a lot of joy. Any part of you that thinks, okay, he gets this focus of being locked in, dialed in from his dad? Um, yeah, I'd like to think he gets most of his great qualities from his mom. Smarty that keeps me, uh, that keeps me in the, in the black. So, yeah. All right, Gary, best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks, Meredith.